These are genuine ads from the past. If you have a sensitive nature, some of these ads may disturb you. These are ads of the past that would be banned today. Volume 3. Coughs due to smoking disappear. Parched throat clears up. That stale, smoked out feeling vanishes. If I gotta make a house call at 2 a.m., I need a cup of coffee and a cigarette. Where are my unfiltered camels? And Philip Morris cigarettes were scientifically proven to prevent sore throats and lower throat irritation. I wonder what the scientists were smoking. Ah, Coca-Cola, the ideal brain tonic. It was good for headaches, mental exhaustion, and even physical exhaustion. Of course, cocaine was one of its main ingredients. And talking about cocaine and coke, how about a mixture of morphine and alcohol in your child's teething medicine? That'll keep them quiet. And to finish up our science-based 19th century medicine section, these lozenges for your sore throat contained a mixture of morphine and cocaine. Sore throat be gone. Naturally, this includes the cigarettes served on these planes. It's Winston, America's best-selling, best-tasting filter cigarette. Honey, this is wonderful. They sure think of everything. Santa's feeling lucky. Lucky strikes, that is. Even Santa says they're easy on the throat. And who doesn't believe Santa? Did you know that Lysol at one time was used as a feminine douche product? Only problem, it was extremely corrosive and dangerous to use on your genitals. Ouch! Here's a great idea. Give a carbonated beverage loaded with sugar to your baby. Might as well get him started early. And let's get those kids started on smoking too. Those were the days when a kid could buy cigarettes without an ID. Awesome. This guy was Lord of the Jungle in his Van Hughes and shirts. Feminists would have a field day with this ad today. When you do for a beer, Bush does it. Oh, there's a lot of Bush gonna be sold. Beginning right now. Fill her up, Fred. And now, back to science. Who needs the AA when you can just give an alcoholic this drink, a mixture of grape juice and cocaine syrup? They thought of everything in the 1800s. But the late 20th century wasn't too bad either with the invention of Quaalude, a wonderful hypnotic sleep aid. These were highly addictive and abused until taken off the market. Another win for science babies wrapped in cellophane. Who at DuPont thought that this ad was a good idea? The folks at Bayer were marketing geniuses. Aspirin and heroin together. What a combination. Quaker State thought it was a great idea to use a cute baby to sell their motor oil, comparing it to milk. Well, at least it was acid-free. Now, Frida, my pa was right upset with you for snatching his package of cigarettes. He sets the great store by them, Winston, and I reckon you'd better give them back before he gets out the gun. <laughs> I just can't get away from these cigarette ads. Here's another one claiming it won't hurt your throat with harsh irritants. I guess they could say just about anything back in those days. Are you depressed or obese? Or maybe both? Just take some methadrine, otherwise known as metamphetamine. Keeps you happy while losing weight. It's a win-win. And according to Blatt's, beer has many benefits for a mother and her baby. The malt in the beer has many nourishing qualities that are essential. Right. This was technically not an ad, but from a coloring book in 1923 by the National Lead Company, which promoted the use of lead products to kids. Don't put that in your mouth, Johnny. 
cocaine lollipops for kids in six delicious flavors. And they're guaranteed to deaden their sweet tooth, among other things. Oh, Jesse, you're so good to me. Well, honey, you deserve the best. And you deserve the best, too. So... I feel much better about smoking now that science has confirmed that unfiltered Chesterfield cigarettes are easy on the throat. Even popular singer Perry Como was a two-pack-a-day man for 15 years. Who can argue with the combination of wine and cocaine? Plus, it's great for insomnia and depression. Would you believe Joy's cigarettes give relief for asthma, wheezing, and winter cough? I didn't think so. The ad says it may even offer a permanent cure. Sure they do. You don't have to beg your kids to take their vitamins anymore. Just give them these tasty vitamin donuts. Great treats and loaded with vitamin B1. Nice way to market guns, Ivor Johnson. And don't forget, an accidental discharge is impossible. And for only $6. What a bargain. We are studying great leaders. Well, Mr. Drysdale told Uncle Jed that Winston is the leading filter cigarette all over. That's right, he did. Me and Granny's been smoking them, and they is first rate. Oh. Here, try one. Here's a good one. If you don't smoke Luckies, you're going to be obese in just five years. I heard somewhere that smoking is good for weight loss. Not sure if eating Vaseline is the best way to promote petroleum jelly, but they did it anyway. Today, they'd have a warning label not to eat it. Even Pope Leo XIII liked Mariani wine. Who wouldn't love the combination of cocaine, cola, and wine? Maybe that's why he was one of the longest living popes in history. I have a great idea, said some marketing genius somewhere. Let's spray babies with black flag to keep the flies off. Only problem, DDT was kind of toxic. And here's another brilliant idea. Let's eat more sugar for weight loss. Yeah, let's see how that one works out. Try one, Granny. They is first rate. Well, if you say they're really good. Best smoking you ever had. <laughs> 